If you have an iPhone and love Animal Crossing, you're gonna wanna see this. The iOS 14 update means you can customize your app icons. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your iPhone into a Nook phone. And I'm gonna show you a hack that stops shortcuts from opening every time first because that's annoying. What's up y'all, Janet here, AKA Game Onesis, and today we're going through the steps you need to take to set up your iPhone as a Nook phone. Downloading icons, customizing apps with shortcuts, possibly using this hack I have to avoid having to relaunch shortcuts every time, and making Animal Crossing style quotes using widgets. First up is downloading the icons, which Jen has made. You can grab those by going to gumroad.com backslash OKPNG. And on screen right now, you can see all of Jen's info. It is also currently their pinned tweet as well. Once you get to Gumroad, you have a couple of options. One pack is completely free. The other extension packs do cost $1 or more. Uh, pay more if you feel inclined and or can't afford to. I downloaded all these packs because I thought they all looked really cool. So take a look at the packs and decide if you want to get one, if you want to get all of them, however you want to approach it. So I'm going to use an example by just clicking on uh, the regular icons one. And as you can see, they have both an iOS and Android version. And then you just follow the steps to install. They're already available for you there. So I won't go extremely in depth. Essentially, you want to do all this on your phone unzip the folders and you can save it to files, you can save it to photos. I find it kind of just easier to me to save it to photos. And it even tells you the steps that I'm gonna go over next, which is how to actually use shortcuts to do the customization. And it even includes the hack that I'm gonna talk about, which is how to kind of avoid needing to relaunch shortcuts every single time you select an app icon, cause that's, gets old really quick. So now that I've showed you where to get the icons and how to get the icons, we're gonna look at how to actually use those icons to customize your phone. I'm gonna show you customizing the apps using shortcuts. So first you're gonna to go to the shortcuts app. It looks like this. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit this plus symbol in the upper right hand corner. Then you're gonna tap add action. And you can do something like open app and then you're going to hit choose and you're going to choose the app that you want to open so for me i'm going to do the clock app then you're going to tap those three dots then you're going to hit add to home screen and you can this is where you can give it a name or not i am going to call mine clock and I'm gonna tap this icon right here on the left side of where you can put the name. And then it gives me the option to take a photo, choose photos or choose files. So I'm gonna select choose photos. And then I'm just gonna look for the clock and I'm gonna use that timer symbol. Hit choose. And then I'm just gonna finally hit add. Here I have the clock. And as you can see, it briefly launches shortcuts first. There is a way to kind of make it a little bit faster, which I already have on here. And that's, you're gonna to wanna to go to your settings, scroll down to accessibility, go to motion and make sure reduce motion is on. Obviously that would be a lot, so I'm gonna show you a way to avoid it opening shortcuts first. Disclaimer, this is an unofficial workaround. It's not something Apple cleared and it's considered untrusted on your device. From what I can tell, it's totally fine and this is what I have personally been using since this update dropped, but I just wanted to let y'all know that so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you wanna use it. It's called Icon Themer and it's an unofficial shortcut that lets you easily and super quickly change your app icons. Definitely read through the details, which I have linked in the description below. There are some known issues and unfortunately it doesn't work with a few of the apps. So for those, you will have to use the regular shortcuts method that I just showed, but it works for almost everything. There's also this Reddit post from the creator explaining how it works, but you can click on the link to download it. Uh, once again, you should do this on your phone so you can just select get shortcut. Here it also has how it works and what the limitations are and some FAQs as well. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna show y'all how this works. Again, you're gonna go to shortcuts first. So once you have Icon Themer on here, you're actually just gonna scroll down to Icon Themer and tap it. And you're gonna hit search in App Store. And then you're gonna search for the app that you want. So I'm gonna test this by just using the CVS app.
And as you can see, it comes up. I'm going to tap that again. And then it asked me to choose an icon. So here I'm going to select choose from photos. I'm going to go ahead and use the medicine icon because that seems appropriate for a pharmacy. I'm asked for the uh, icon label. I'm just going to use CVS. Hit done. Hit done. And then from here, I can add another icon to just continue this process instead of doing it from step one, or I can just hit create my icon. So I'm just going to select create my icons and it says enter a name for your setup. So I'll just leave it as um, I'll make that CVS actually just to make it shorter. Then when I hit done, it's going to like ask me all these questions on whether or not I want to allow this configuration and kind of download this. I have to click here. It's going to ask me to install a profile. I have to enter my passcode. You hit install. And then finally you hit done. As you can see, these are the other ones I've already made. And now here you have the CVS app, but as the medicine icon. So as you can see, I have these rotating quotes that um, go into these little Animal Crossing speech bubbles. And the way I made that was using widgets. So the short version is you just need to place a photo album widget here and then just select an album that already has quotes in it. Super nifty. OKPNG okay, actually included these color swatches to make your own widgets, which is what I used. They have the color codes that you need to use and the recommended fonts. I ended up using Arial Rounded for mine because I just thought that was a little bit easier. You can just download those fonts for free online it's fairly simple and the quote bubble is also included the wallpapers are included so this is the quote bubble that I just went ahead and opened up in Photoshop I'm sure there are free programs that could work as well I already have Photoshop so I just decided to go ahead and do this in Photoshop and it's really simple you just upload the background image which is provided for you I had already downloaded the font of Arial rounded so I just went ahead and typed in the quote I wanted and I also went ahead and typed in the phrase reminder on kind of that little quote bubble area. I did adjust the color a little bit. I originally used the direct color code that I was given and I felt like it wasn't quite the color I wanted. So I just kind of played with that over here in the little like color palette swatch area. And that's basically it. I just rinsed and repeated that process for however many quotes I wanted, put those onto a photo album on my phone and then continued with the regular steps you'd use for any widget. So then I downloaded all of those images that I made and put them in the album. Then I downloaded this app called Widgetsmith. Okay, so to make this widget, you can just tap like add medium widget, for instance, and then tap on the widget. Then you select it and you can scroll down and they have custom ones. So I selected photos and album. And then from here it says select an album. So you can select favorites or something else. So I just selected the quotes album that I had which is reflected down here. And then obviously I saved it. Go ahead and delete this one. And then to actually put it there, you wanna hit edit home screen so that everything goes into like that wiggle mode. And on the upper right hand corner, there's a plus. So you can scroll down and they already have like default widgets that are there for you, but you can also just go to Widgetsmith and then hit add widget and it would just add whatever widget you select. So I'm not gonna have two there cause I already have the one, but that's how I did it. And that's how I made my iPhone into a Nook phone. Comment below to let me know what cool themes and aesthetics you've added to your phone, especially if they're video game related. For more Animal Crossing content from me, you can catch me streaming Animal Crossing New Horizons on Twitch every Thursday night and every Saturday morning. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, tap the bell, hit subscribe, and I will see y'all here next time. Bye.